I think that having type 1 diabetes at first, I was kind of like, why me? Like, why does this happen? But as I've gotten older, I think I've definitely learned to embrace it and more see it as something that's made me who I am and like the struggles that I go through. It's helped me kind of see everything as a new opportunity and given me like an outlook on life to where I just kind of embrace everything and try and make the most out of every situation. Um, I'm Kylie Perez. I play softball here at UCLA. Playing softball at the collegiate level is definitely something I've always dreamed of. Kylie Perez to center. Kylie Perez goes yard. And then, of course, watching the World Series like everyone else on TV. I mean, that's like something everyone wants to do. Perez with a great play. The back to our all defensive team selection with a sparkling play for out number two. Live in left center field, and Kylie Perez goes deep. Fisted towards second base, diving in Perez, and she made the catch. There was a slight moment in the beginning with my parents and I when we thought like sports were out of the question and it was gonna be this huge life change, but along the way, we've learned to control it, we've learned what works for me, and just kind of seen it as something that makes me who I am. And then as far as playing softball with it, I think it's helped me just because with diabetes, I have to learn to like adapt to my situation pretty quickly. My blood sugars are different every day and every day is not the same. Uh, luckily, within the last few years, they've come out with the Dexcom technology. So that's something that allows me to kind of monitor my blood sugar throughout the day without having to do so many finger pricks. So that's a new technology that I've definitely loved to embrace. Yeah, so I'm a little high right now. So in that case, I'll take my pump and I will put the number in. Give it an okay, and then it's gonna give it an insulin. My support system is amazing. My coaches, Kelly, Lisa, Kirk, and Rodney, my entire team actually, they've all kind of learned what I look like when my diabetes is out of control. And they definitely are always continuing to tell me, just go check your blood sugar, make sure your blood sugar is okay. And health is a big priority. We're a big family here at UCLA. So it was definitely the place for me when I was choosing where to go. Uh, you know, when we recruited Kylie, we obviously knew that, you know, this is something that she would have to deal with. Uh, and so as a coaching staff, you know, it's our job just to monitor. And she, she does a great job of being able to communicate, but there are times when we see some of the signs, uh, if there's fatigue, if there's confusion, or maybe she's just not looking the way that she would normally look in terms of her energy. Uh, then it's just a simple, hey, go check your sugar, or, you know, why don't you take a break and, and see where you're at. There's times when I have to pull myself out, definitely, that um, I realize my body's not gonna allow me to do certain things at certain times. So whether that's training or during the game, if it's an at-bat that my blood sugar's low and I can't go up to bat, um, pulling myself out is definitely something that I have to do, but it's just kind of who I am and what I have to deal with, so. The way Kylie has been able to handle her situation has really just been a, a model for other athletes. You know, and they have struggles. You know, they can look just to the left of them or to the right of them and they can see someone uh, of her stature and what she's been able to do at such a high level and has maintained, you know, her ability to perform on the field uh, is just a great example. And that's what uh, has really led to her being uh, the person that's taken this ship in the right direction and her leadership is invaluable to the success of this team. Knowing that I can play with it and like not have any doubts about my athletic ability because of all the practice I put in is something that brings me a lot of comfort. There's this one quote by Rihanna, it's never a failure, always a lesson. And that's something that like I've completely grown up like idolizing. I love that quote because type one diabetes every day is different day to day. So it's never going to be a failure for me. Like it's always going to be a lesson. and. I can always learn from the day before. And I think like that's been a big aspect in my athletic career too, is just kind of taking my type one diabetes and applying that to athletics. And whether I go four for four, or oh for four, the day's not a failure. It's always a lesson that I can learn from.